What's up guys, my name's Collins Newey. Post Up is my stream and I'm thrilled to be bringing you guys the 2024 US Open Championships out of Griff's Bar and Billiards. We're gonna be bringing you US Open 10 ball, US Open 8 ball, US Open bank pool, and US Open one pocket straight through every day till March 16th. We're bringing it to you live from Griff's Bar and Billiards right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hey, I just wanna let you guys know, I don't treat my stream like a typical pool stream. I don't treat it like that sports broadcast model. I treat it like I'm hanging out with you guys at home in the chat, super interactive, fun, lighthearted. We get down and we have a good time. The best part is, if you don't like that style, you can just hit the mute button and enjoy some of the best pool in the world. It's basically a who's who of the best players from around the world. Either way, come check it out and let's have some fun. All right, well, it looks like, looks like Mark is feeling good. They're gonna lag for the break right here. This is one lost side action here at the U.S. Open 10 ball championships. It's crazy that these two guys are on the one loss side. Francisco lost this morning our first match of the day to SVB. And Mark forfeited his first round matchup. So how do you like it? Either one of them. Hit the like, hit the share button, get this stream out. It helps us a lot. We've had some pretty solid matchups, and not even just on the TV table, but all around the room. What a pleasant guy. Mario? Yeah. Oh, he's real nice. He's always got a smile on his face. Everybody's really nice. Like, seriously, almost everybody yeah. like in the pro scene is so, like, chill, you know? So they lagged? They lagged Mark 1, and he's got the opening break. All right. Freedom. All right, I'm thrilled. Why is that? To watch this guy play, because the only other time I've seen him play, he played <laughs> against Feder on Feder's stream, and I didn't really get a chance to watch him play. Here's what happened: I'm sitting down there talking to Mark. I know. Collins walks I didn't even up. Recognize him. He walks up and he's like, "Yeah, I think I want to get that Mark Estiola and Francisco match on the TV table." And I'm like, "You know, the guy's right here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he's standing right next to me." Let's see how this break is, man. He really little, elevates the butt. Wow, look at that. Too. A little softer, like more controlled, you know? Yeah, for sure. Uh, three ball comes in and wrecks the... It's a little chilly there, man. It's a yeah. pretty good break, though, you know? But then I get a shot on the two. Three ball comes in and spills the punch. Right. You know? three ball comes in. He's not jumping this ball, is he? What's he doing, Collins? Change camera views. Oh, he is jumping the ball. Wow. Okay. Is he going? Is he going for the jump break? The jump bank off the bat? Do it. There's no way. There is a way. Okay. Well. Did he call the bank? He did call the bank. Yeah, he's going. He's going here. Really? The cool thing about the slick cloth is normally with this type of shot, it's gonna sh it's gonna shorten way up, like play super short. But with the the newer cloth, it might play true and be easier to aim the bank. You know, instead of having to judge the uh, how much it's gonna stiffen off the rail. He oh, like he crap. likes his chances. He's really going after this. A little wide. It did go long. Slick cloth. Maybe he was expecting it to play shorter. He wants it to lock up, and I think it did. Put his hand up a little bit. That ball does not go. No, sir. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Frown. All right. The frown. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. I'll deal with this. I see what you're doing. I'll figure this out. No, I won't. <laughs> what are you going to do? It's tough. He's like checking which side he wants to come off the ball because if he comes off the right side of the ball as we're looking at it, the 10 is really big. Right. And if he comes off the left side of the ball, there's no real cover because the two ball is going to 
it looks like maybe no maybe the two ball goes to the short rail you might be able to miss I... the seven and use the nine for cover maybe kind of like hitting the two ball and then coming down the seven ball is going to roll over towards the nine use the seven nine as a blocker so a touchy oh, shot real thin it touch yeah yeah, yeah yeah real thin yeah. he's talking about well no i think you well i think you hit a little full a little full because the seven ball is such You're a big ball this? right there yeah yeah and then you hide behind the seven the seven and the nine Whoops. he was not trying to do that yeah, the 10's such a big ball. I think that I think that's what he was going for, though. Yeah, I think so. Too. Because I look mean, how obviously yeah. how soft he hit it. Right. The, the the cue ball ended up here while losing some kinetic energy into the 10, so it means that it would have come up a little bit higher. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, with some speed because it hit, <clears throat> it's a thinner hit. So, had he executed, I mean. Yeah. Nevertheless. Why'd you look at me like that when I said kinetic energy, by the Dude, way? Dude, because when you nerd out like that, it just, <laughs> you know, you know why. I don't got to tell you Did why. You, you know why. Did you take a physics class in high school? Come on. No. No, I didn't, actually. Well, that. Clearly. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not surprised. Par for the course. <laughs> All right. Oh. Cue ball rolled kind of funny there for the last three or four rotations. Well, Did you see that? It looked like it was going to go this way, then it kind of like did this kind of thing. Interesting. Oh, God, the chat's on your side. What's that? Uh, I can't see the chat. It's right here. Oh. Guys, I, I hate to break it to you, but the entire reason why pool works the way that it works is because of physics. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I feel like a skid a little bit. Skid to the middle of the pocket. Yeah. Came up pretty good. <laughs> yeah. It just looked a little funny. Yeah. Oh, look how well he hit that ball. Boy, oh boy. And inertia is spelled with an I. <laughs> I love you guys. Even when you don't love me. We love you, buddy. Taking a lot more time on, on the shots compared to when he was just, you know. Wheeling and dealing right. around his practice. Yeah. Yeah, routine. giving it a lot more thought and respect with two balls hanging in the hole. Well, there's a lot of traffic on the natural path to the eight. Mm. So he's looking at a line where he can hit the seven a little thinner and spin the ball to get to the rail and then like the left-hand long rail and then back to the eight. I think he was just based on where he was looking from earlier, it looked like he was trying to get over here. To come around two rails, three rails? Or maybe just to play it like this. Yeah. But but from here, this is great too, obviously. You can just come one rail down, right? Yeah, just you yeah. use the whole pocket, cut the seven into this side of the pocket, and then stun the cue ball with spin up this way, like draw with spin. Every pool player, everybody's hit this shot like a thousand times. Look at oh, how much I like action that. He got. <laughs> Look how much action Yeah, he got. he's like, wait a minute. Hold on there. Yowza. Wow, Corey and Vitaly are tied at 7-7 seven, seven now. No kidding. Yeah. Check out the bracket at digitalpool.com. Search US Open 10 ball. You'll be able to find all the live scoring from there. Just taking a look and see if we got any upset alerts or anything. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. Savannah Easton and, and Yap. That's a pretty good matchup. Uh, Mark Estiola is from the Philippines. A real nice guy. Too. Look how he hit that ball. Yeah, real good hit. Real so full. So clean. So clean.
Dude, he's sprinting to the table. FSR sprints to the table when he gets a chance to break. Holy crap. I was going to pan over to him slowly and do the nice, the nice like, cinematic zoom out, you know? Didn't even give me the chance. No, he's robbing you. Yeah. Robbing the fans, more importantly. What are you doing? Checking out Mark on his side. Oh. Rocking the Paggy Lion gear. Big shout out to Alex. What about down here? Come on, focus camera. There we go. You okay there, buddy? Sorry. I'm not intentionally trying to do that. All right, rack number two. Oops, sorry. Thank you. Yeah, big break. One ball kisses across the table. It's so interesting to see shot. how people were addressing the break, you know, where Mark was a lot more controlled. And FSR's like, boom. Like, hits it and walks away before the balls are done moving. He's like, let's play the game. <laughs> let's go. I honestly, personally, kind of like that mentality of like, once you've hit the ball, it doesn't really matter what happens because the next time you come to the table, the balls are going to lay the way the balls are going to lay, you know? So why wait for them to finish before you go get your cue? He's just ready to go. He's all hyped up on Mountain Dew. Maybe. Oh, baby. He used every inch there. Tally's up 8-7 on Corey. We got a sweater over there. If it goes Hill Hill, we might have to pan over there, Nui. Which one? Vitaly and Corey. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. If that goes Hill Hill yeah. and this is only, you know, one to one, two to one or whatever yeah. at the time, there's no chance we're missing that. What'd you say the score is? 8-7 by Tally with Corey breaking. Uh, do you guys want to go check that out? I kind of want to go watch that. Let's, I kind of do finish, too. Yeah, let's finish this rack, and then we'll take a two-rack break and come back so we can see how that match settles up. I know we just watched Vitaly on the uh, stream, but it's an interesting matchup over there. Uh, basically, experience versus young firepower. Let's check it out. I'll get rid of the scoreboard for a minute. Looks like Corey made a ball on the break, has a shot on the one, and has a really good layout to get to the hill. The Prince of Pool. So if you're just joining us, this is Corey Duel versus Vitaly Petsura. Current score eight to seven. Corey Duel is down, but he just broke, and he has an opportunity to get to the hill, to go hill hill, and it looks really juicy. We are going to have a little bit of camera shake. There's a lot of folks at the uh, table underneath the rig where this is mounted, so we're just going to have to deal with it. You know, say what you want about Corey, but he's got some he's got some gas left in the tank. He's got some he's got some game still. This is a nice, a nice match here. Look at this. Oh, I love this positional shot. Yeah, he's good. I love this back and forth. Hit just past the side pocket. Diamond past the side pocket. Comes up just a touch short. A little bit. Might be time to go up and down. He's not. Yeah, he's going to pull out the bridge and have to go up and down and miss the 10. Good thing he likes using the bridge. Oh. oh he might concede the match. He yeah. Did. He does concede the match. Hi uh, well, that was fast. Back to the action. Didn't miss a game. He just Wow, you're already doing the commentator's curse, huh? What? 
What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> Someone in that's the chat funny. said, what the hell? That's pretty funny. Oh, that's great. Oh, Ooh, baby, overcuts the ball. Look at, oh, he's going to get away with it. Oh, he's hella going to get away with it. Fran looks away. He's a little, little annoyed. Little annoyed, yeah. yeah. Yeesh. the pocket just in case it means he's trying to hit the one ball he's trying to hit the rail before the one it looks like he does one ball leaks out and if mark doesn't go offense here he's got all the options in the world i think he goes he probably goes and sends the cue ball three, two to, two three to three rails, rails at, at the three so uh, that if he yeah. overcuts the one ends uh. up on the short rail with traffic Hell, he's three rails here. Plays the three in the same pocket. This yeah. is a, this is just one pocket. Play the one pocket shot. Oh, he's going the other way. Oh, he's cutting it to the right. No way. Wow. Really? Okay. No, okay. He was just like, looking. Wait, hold on. Then. Uh, he was just weighing his options there. I think. Oh. He's been here playing out here for two weeks now, yeah. at least. Getting in a lot of action out here at Griffs. Yeah. 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 Well, I heard he was supposed to play a certain... He goes at it and tries to go above the three. Wow. No way. Wow, that was a nice shot. Did you see the way he gestured towards the nudge? There's no way he was playing the cue ball at that three, right? What a shot. If he was, whew, tap, tap to him. Nice shot. Game winner right there. Mic check. Get people messaging me directly that my mic is way too quiet. So I'll turn it up. There you go, guys. Is that better? That's That looks way too loud. But I'll roll with it. Yeah. Mark Estiola does finish the rack. I heard you there, Sean Wedlake. I heard you there. stuff yeah I think you make one good shot you're you're sitting pretty yeah and it's either this shot or the next one has to be real good Since I'd almost prefer to make it be the next one and and less is more here just make sure you put it down yeah 
Yeah, such a flat angle. He hit that Jeez very good. Louise. God, he got the best out of that. Like, no hesitation, too. Just, well, this is the shot. Here we go. Yep. Oh. Oh, this isn't really that much. That. This isn't really that much drama. Just got to jump, jump it here. I mean, the, the only drama here is where the seven is sitting. If you accidentally overcut the four, you're going to hit the four into the thick side of the pocket here. You know what I mean? You're going to hit it, try to hit it into that facing as as far as you can to guarantee the ball goes down and the cue ball should just die like right here. Hmm. Oh, he did overcut it a little bit, but That'll it works work. out. That'll do. Yeah, not that much drama there. Okay, well, he's coming, coming at one rail. Hey, Shannon asks you in the chat, says, Hey, Collins and Melina, great to see your stream and great to hear you both. It's great to see you in the chat, girl. She is one of, I know there's been a lot of the OGs in the chat, but Shannon has been one of the biggest supporters of the stream of all time. Good to see you, girl. Glad to have you here. He plays so fast. It does not waste time. It's so fun to watch. It's so easy to watch. It's guys like this that make the rest of the world think, what, they're just hitting balls in the pocket. They're just making the shot. That's all they're doing. They're just making the shot. And then you show them this. The white cue ball is what the cue ball wants to do. The green cue ball is what you can do. This game is so, so freaking beautiful, man. I'll tell you what was beautiful. That guy who was shooting that shot there. You know I hit that one first try? On that little demo. I'm dead serious. There were a lot of easy shots that I butchered like three or four times in a row. That one I hit first try. Yep. Nice touch, buddy. Pop break. One's going to be nice. <laughs> Dude, you're just keeping it real. Keep it real. There's no future here. Where, where are you playing safe? Can't play safe with the two. You can get above the three. Play the three in the bottom left. If you get there, then you run out. If you don't get there, you play safe, right? That's a nice touch. That is a nice touch. Look at the angle he's got right yeah, here. Yeah, it's great. That angle is Like dead nuts, perfect. Yeah. Just the perfect tangent line to try to get above the three here. Play the three in the same pocket. He's lo he's looking down the tangent line to see the path that the cue ball is going to take. Why is he? Ele he's like elevating here. He's it's like he's drawing. Yeah, just coming over. Whoa. Well, is the six now blocking the pocket for the four? He doesn't look too thrilled. Yeah, I think an eye roll definitely would class be classified right. as not thrilled. Love the sarcasm. I wasn't being sarcasm. I'm just like agreeing with you. 
Does it pass, though? It looks like it does. The three go in the side? Mm-hmm. Oh, the four passes the six. I yeah. don't know. I don't that's, know. That's tough, buddy. Oh, he's calling the combo. Call the combo wow, here, yeah. Super that. aggressive. The cue ball is going to get on the bad side of the three here. So he's going to play the three in the pocket that he's standing over right now, I guess. That's interesting, Call. I don't know why you would... Couldn't you just roll up on the seven right now? That's what I was thinking. You go... You go. And you can control hit, it so well with yeah, the Yeah, hit the, the three ball hit. down this way, and then the cue ball just goes right here, right? Boom, inside. This is ultra aggressive. Yeah. Holy Replay. shot. What an amazing shot that was. <laughs> I mean, and look, he's got, well, no, he might not have an angle to, to play the four up table, but I mean, we've been surprised enough in this match already. Let's see what he's got up his sleeve. I like the way he's playing. Mark Estiola, the escape artist. Is that his nickname? No, I don't know. That should be his nickname if it's not, buddy. <laughs> that was a good shot. That was a good uh, good dubbing of a nickname there. The escape artist. He's got a little... If he gets out. That's only if he gets it's out. He's got a ring to it. Ton of inside, it looks like. He's juicing up with... Oh, no, just trying to punch across and get below the four, I guess. It's got to go, man. It's got to go. Hey, Hunter, thank you for... Thank you, man. I'm glad you're enjoying it. His nickname is Godzilla? Really? Yeah, that's, JC, my, that's JC, my first thought. First thought whenever I, I see him. JC Cabal said that. He would know. James would know. Pretty sure that's JC Cabal in the chat. But the, the escape artist has a, has a nice ring to it. He's playing the combo here. No. Yeah, the four didn't pass. <laughs> it did by the way he played it. He wasn't playing the combo. Now, can yeah. he see enough of it to, to do a little hit and stick? No. No? Ooh, Ooh. he can. Mark's not going to like his next shot. He called it just in case, but he was in playing case it all kissed off of something really yeah. funny. Yeah. When you send vectors in that direction, things can happen. Hmm. <laughs> what? Yeah. Sus. <laughs> in the chat, Rex TV coming in with the sus. Yeah, gotta like that. How often do you think you hit this ball kicking with the eight and the nine where they are? It's that's tough. It's such a especially when the table is kicking so long naturally. You're like not only kicking blind two rails, but you're click, you're kicking two rails blind on a line that you rarely ever kick. Well, he likes his chances. Well, you got to hit the right side of the four here because if you overcut it, the four goes like this. If you hit this side of the four, the right side, and the four overcuts, it goes like this and back this way, and the cue ball goes up this way. You don't want to be hitting this side, I don't think. That's just flirting with trouble. Yeah, because the cue ball then does this, and the four goes up. But I think it's better if the four is on the short rail. Let's see how comfortable he's feeling with this equipment. Yeah, I, mean, I, mean, I know he's, I know he's uh, been here for a few weeks, but he ain't not you know, on this table. No, and not on this. It got the, it got refinished two days ago. And brand new balls too. Look at this. Look oh at my this. day! See what I was. Yeah, what a nice shot that was. Even even if he doesn't get covered by the nine and the eight, it's just so, I think it's so much better than the other option, and he hit the good side of it. Oh, this is awkward. This is pretty awkward. None of the natural paths really go towards the eight or the nine. You got to put some type of spin, maybe, to shorten up the natural path to. Ten ball's pretty big here. To make too. it go here. I think you got to be sending the four and using two balls as cover instead of one. Yeah, like that. Now he left the jump. 
Well, I mean, all things considered, I think you take that. Yeah. Leave the eight foot jump. Leave the seven and a half foot jump. Yeah, if you make it, you make it, and that's fine, right? Yeah. The other guy just comes with a good shot. And but. also, also, you know, FSR leaving it like this, he's not only going to have to make a fantastic jump, but how's he going to get on the six ball? Yeah. He's either going to have to hit it and let it follow through up to here and What's then take a ridiculous shot on the six. What's on the butt of that cue? What? He's got this, like... Let's see when he uh, when he He's jacks up. This. I can zoom in, I'll, and then I'll get like back to really the table. Really big piece on the back end of that air rush. It looks like oh, that's not an air rush. It's a carbon fiber butt. It's a really fat carbon fiber butt too. Yeah. Oh, oh my god! Wow. But see what I mean? I mean, even making a great shot, you're still in a tough spot on the six. He's dicing this ball 100%. And he's going. He's going two rails with shape. Yes, sir. Mark Estiola coming with the goods. Got to come with the goods one more time. Whoops. Oh, my God. I, I dogged it, guys. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, you missed I, the whole shot? Nope. Oh, Perfect timing. <gasps> that was stressful. Just when I thought. Oh, what you do? You're the only one that missed it. Oh, really? Everyone else saw it. Okay, beautiful. Never mind. <laughs> I'm just, trying to I'm just over here trolling, Mike. He is. All right. He's just trying to mess with me. Hey, Harry Reyes. Uh, try to try to, uh, you know, if. Try to type in English. I know that's difficult for some people that don't have two languages, but we need everyone to be able to understand everyone in the chat. <laughs> I, unless you're talking with someone else in Tagalog, I, I don't mean... I guess there's a bunch of people. I take it back. If there's only one person just typing in a different language, it's kind of tough for us to interact. Well, Wombra, it's a risk I'm willing to take. It's just, it's typical in, in live streams across the world that most people just, it's like a, what, an unspoken uh, rule. What's that? Well, just that everybody tries to do their best to involve everyone. Hmm. We're all watching together. But FSR does take that one down. If at all possible, that's my only point. If it's at all possible. Anyway. This is a ridiculously even match. It's been entertaining so far, that's for sure. Who's next on the stream table? I don't know. How are we looking? Uh, we got to look at the one loss side and see. I think we're done with winner side action tonight. So, we'll take a look. Uh, there's only two more matches. Tomorrow, well, we might be done after this then. Tomorrow we'll have a full update. I'm going to try to get Mike on the show. Talk about Las Vegas. Talk about all the drama going on. I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't be opposed to an early night. Oh, I'm good for an early night. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. I'm, I'm sure the players are probably okay with it too, yeah, honestly, I'm, with how they've been going lately. I think the plan was to only do play through one round of the loser side so okay 
And then we'll be back 10.30 tomorrow. All right. That's not that's not the point guys. I'm not I'm not saying it like that guys. It's just normal it's quite frequent etiquette in live chats around the world that we we try to all speak the same language if it's possible. But if he can't understand me then they'll keep talking in the language that they know and it's understandable. Anyway. Get that a little full but Fran making some moves here. Getting a bit more comfortable, too. Okay, Zach. Right on. Why do I feel it is a smaller table? Probably because we're zoomed out a little bit, so you can see you can totally see the players. If I got any mods in the chat and there are people being jerks in the chat, don't be afraid. <laughs> well, he is not messing around here. Nice little check side to hold the cue ball on the angle once it made contact with the rail and Fran's about to take a two game lead over Mark Estiola. 4-2 now. Race to nine. One lost side action here live from Griff's. 2024 US Open 10 ball championship. We got two weeks of live coverage for you guys, free on YouTube, Facebook. But you will want to go subscribe to the Griff's YouTube channel because our semifinals and finals matches will it was be. The finals only. Was it the finals only? Yeah. Yeah, the finals only would be on Griff's, Griff's uh, well, exclusive. Well, either way, the finals only then will be live on the YouTube channel exclusively from Griff's. So. A little bit of debate there. I'm wondering if he's. I'm about to get called. So. Two and the three on the wings. I Maybe. Yeah. Let's go find out. Good luck and Godspeed. Get him, Mike. Mike did his job, guys. He did his job. I'm so proud of him. Aren't we all so proud of Mike? I don't understand. How come you got a, you got the job of being able to come in here and play with all all your toys, and I get made to be the bad guy in this group? Well, because I'm more valuable than you are. <laughs> <laughs> Touche, my man. Uh, dry yeah. break, seven ball, dry break, and where's dry the cue ball cue gonna ball. go? Where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball, the it's, cue ball it's going? In the hole. Oh Massive my days. Massive turn of events there. Yeah, look, you know, whenever we were talking about the format and the rules, the debate was, hey, let's keep it true to what Mark Griffin had put in place prior to any of us coming on board, right? He was the one that wanted to have this event. He's the one even, you know, as he was in his last days, wanted to make sure this event was on for the players. So we wanted to honor um what he had already had in place in years past so with that being in with that in mind <coughs> the obviously the rack and and all that you know came up for debate and we went back and forth a little bit on a couple of topics but i think we just settled we agreed on hey listen just m make sure they're they're random plain and simple so yeah um i don't want to be a bad guy to anyone but here's the interesting question what's that how many racks had the two and the three on the wings before something was said I mean, you would know. You're, you're the valuable you, one. You tell me, MVP. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. You, you tell me. <laughs> yes. Let me go check yeah. that out. I'll check that out for you. I wasn't paying attention, but I would imagine that Fran was, and that's why he brought it up, you know? And so Mark didn't give any, you know, pushback on it, so I'm assuming that was, in fact, the case. Let's go check them out. Usually you'll see guys where, you know, if that if they weren't pattern racking or if things were different, they'll, you know, they'll bark back a little bit or push back a little bit, I guess you would say. So, and listen, Mark's been breaking the balls phenomenal. I mean, he's been breaking really well. Well, um, but it's, it's if, at least twice. If Fran noticed something, yeah, six seven. You were saying not just the two three, but the six seven too, and so the four five. Six, yeah, yeah. So that was what Francisco's um, issue was, and you know we're gonna we made a rule. We're gonna stick with it, and and uh, and that's it. So the way that it's gonna work is one time's a warning. Next one's gonna be. Uh, a loss of game, but you know, I don't want to. I don't really give him a warning. I just said it's got to be random. And That's the warning. Yeah. So we will see what happens. I don't want to. I don't want to have to. Uh, you know, have any issue with, especially being alternate break because that's it's massive. You yeah. know. It wasn't. It wasn't right and left symmetrical, but vertically. Yeah. yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to go buy some cards here in a minute. Yeah, next card. What would yeah. you do for the pattern rat card? Rainbow card. The boot card, you know? Yeah, actually just hand them a shoe. That's it. You yeah. just walk up and... Yeah, that's it. Who's hey. got a good boot in the room? That's Anyone? it, yeah. Anyone know? No. No, Man. it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. We ain't messing around. What is the name of this pool hall, Harold asks? The name is in the top right corner of your screen right now. Griff's Bar and Billiards. Las Vegas, Nevada. It's also in the title of the video. Show. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're on fire today, man. Yeah, I guess. I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. FSR gets out. 5-2 now in a race to nine, and it's his break now. Filipinos in the house. Give me some popcorn and beer. Let's go. Is that Parks? Brian Parks? There he is. Looking slick. Try break and no shot. Las Vegas, Nevada. Ash asks, is this Ash? That's okay. how you say this right here. Okay. Ash. All right. Asks, is this one pocket or straight pool? Close. Pretty close. Yeah. Now, I have a feeling they're just trolling, but I had to just, I had to go there. <laughs> <laughs> one deserves another. Yeah, yeah exactly. This is an interesting push. I think he's going to sell out. 
He's just going to dead sell out. Even if it's a jump shot, it's still a sellout. Look where the two's sitting. You know can, what I mean? Can he just make the ball? Probably can, but even if he has to jump over part of the eight, it's still a sellout. Yeah, I think he just made the ball straight up. This is not the kind of layout you want to be given to a guy like Francis Francisco Sanchez no, Ruiz. No, especially with the two ball just hanging there. It's like you make one good shot, and that should be the rack right there. Yeah, everything's wide open. French is gaining more and more rhythm, and and looking like the Francisco that's world number one. So. And all Mark can do is just sit back and just watch. You Think about how do. he's going to rack the balls next time. I'm sorry. That's a, <laughs> wow. that's a, wow. poor, that's a joke in poor wow. taste, Mark. Wow. Mark, hopefully you have a good sense of humor. I don't wow, mean it. Dude. I don't what mean is, that. What has gotten into you today, <laughs> I'm man? I'm sassy today, guys. I, I don't mean it like that. I that just, lack of sleep is, uh, is real. Exactly. The yeah. filter is just completely gone. You got to understand... Collins has been here since like 5 a.m. So no, I didn't say that because of that. I say that because no, no, I'm just because yeah. I would hope that Mark too. and I could have a drink together and laugh about I'm it. Sure, you know? I'm sure y'all will. Yeah, we got a long stretch here at Griff's. So yeah, <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> Golly, Chad is awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So three balls oh, away he's got from a funny angle here. No, I think he's good actually. Who's that? Who is that? I can't I, recognize I, it's Bon Ryan oh, Mendoza. Bon, yeah. yeah. What's up, Bon? Good speed there. And angle. Nice shot there from Francisco. Gonna play one rail. <laughs> Played in the corner. There you go. Yeah. There it is. Six two. Six to two. All right, here we go. Well, let's see. Yeah, we're going to find out right now. God, I hope he doesn't do it again. I, I mean, don't want to I don't want to be a bad guy here. Just hope the four and five don't go out next. I just I don't want to be a bad guy here. I think it'd be all right. Seems like a reasonable guy. He's watching. <laughs> yeah, he's watching already. Got the eyes. He's, just he's like looking at him. He's like, don't put the four and five out there. Yeah. Okay, it's yeah. the four and seven. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Good deal. There you go. We try to have fun, guys. We just try to have fun. But also, we know it's a serious event. I tell you, you know, 6-2 is a tough deficit, especially against Francisco. But, like, I've seen, I've seen a great comeback already once today. So I know we can see it again, and we're going to see plenty of it this event. Yeah. Way different break than what yeah. he had been doing to start off the match. No ball down. Ooh, the four ball trickles in. It's two ball tied up with the nine and three. And a super tough shot on the one ball. Every other ball is about as makeable as, as you know, the types of shots you'd set up for someone in their first two weeks of pool. What? The way the f look at all these look at all these shots. They're all right in front of the corner. Oh, okay. All the rest, except for the cluster. You know, these, you know? Yeah. I, I might, someone who's just starting pool, say, hey, put three balls right here. Set it up. Make them. What are you doing here? Uh, I I would assume that Mark is going to go. He's I'm by not, far the most aggressive player we've seen all day today. Yeah, I'm not in love with it. But Me either. I'm not, I'm not that kind of player either, so... But he, I I'm love wrong. this shot. I love this shot. If it, I mean, it didn't get there, but I love the decision. That's exactly what I what I was thinking about. And you play it to where you're putting it in an area where if you were to get ball in hand, you could then address the problem. You know? Yeah. So now I don't think it's now. This is a little funny, right? Can you ma can you make the ball? No, right? No. So what are you doing here? Well, if you try to send, whoa, I did it again. If you try to send the cue ball this way, it, it, the one's the, going at the, the ten. The one, well, the one's staying up there though. He called the bank in the side. Okay. 
That means he's huh. banking it this way. It's not going to go anywhere near the side. No. He wants to get it. Basically, he's playing to not hit the 10 and to Put go the cue ball in the cluster. Where, where the 2-9 is at. That's what he wants to do. He got ton one of inside. Wow, Look at that. he hit that great. Ton of inside. What a nice shot that was. I mean, he's got a one rail kick here, but or even a two rail kick. But that was a really nice that shot. Was really nice. That yeah. was really, 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 really nice. Really, really, really nice. Really underrated shot there. Thanks. Two rails, one ball headed towards the cluster, but it's going to lay up in a place where He's Francisco really has all the power. Francisco has all the dice, and all can, the cards. And then he can nudge it just enough to where to open, open things two. up, so yeah. the two can be played in one of the sides right. or something. Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe not, but he's going to get something out of this. Yep. How you hit this ball? You don't. No, yeah, I think you gotta. No, the ten's in the way of the three railer, isn't it? Mm, no, I think you can. Yeah. The ten's a big ball there. I wonder if he can bend it. Oh, I wonder if he can go just shy of the six. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then twist it. Yep. I like that. So it comes back here. That might go. Now the problem is if you go to that third rail first. You're opening everything up. Not just that, but then you gotta hit a rail after. Yeah. You know? Well, you're, you're hoping to hit this side of the one ball. So the cue ball goes this, back this way. Oh, he called the side pocket. and The two in the side? What do he call on the side? I'm not sure. Must have called the two. Not sure. Maybe the two's wired in the side. That would be something. Okay, well, we're going to find out. Ooh, maybe you maybe you kick above the six and twist it, like a ton. You'd have to really put a lot of spin on that ball. A lot of juice, but you can get there. It's a feel kick, like entirely feel, you know. Um, Here we way, go. The way he's been kicking the ball. So he's going sh short of the six, below the six. A little, little bit, bit of twistage, it. little speed. Coming in hot. Coming in real hot. Oof, and the two. Oh, oh my God. Look at that. He called your shot, man. Wow. What are you going to do? Sick. That's still a great shot for Mark. Yeah. Really it's, creative. It's a great shot, but yeah. unfortunately, it's a, a, probably a rack losing shot. Uh, yeah, yeah, without a doubt. You're just playing to hold it. Nice shot there. Good, yeah. good spin. That was a great shot. For it not going down, that was, yeah. that was one of the best shots I've seen. Letting his stroke out a little bit, coming around three rails. He's going to have to draw out one rail for the five. Let me go find out. Let me go find out if we're going to have another round or not. I shall return and I will have some news. going to be a real long road for Mark now. If he's going to win the match, uh, not only is he going to have to play outstanding, but he needs Francisco to make quite a few mistakes um, being alternate break. So, I mean, it's not outside of the realm of possibility, but I would say 
to say that it's extremely unlikely is probably an understatement. But we'll see. Francisco gets to seven games to two. Good news is it's seven it's seven two. Bad news is it's our last match of the night. Oh wow, okay. So Okay. So here's the deal, you guys. Tomorrow morning we're gonna be live again for day number two of the US Open Ten Ball Championship live from Griff's again at ten thirty AM on whatever time zone that we're in here in Vegas. I don't even know what it is. Um ten thirty in the morning. Free again, live again, and uh, I think tomorrow's going to be a long day. So, um, but we're going to get through it, and it's going to be some fantastic matchups on deck. So, including I was looking through Winterside, man, SVB and Alex Pagulain are on there. There's some pretty, pretty solid ones. Looking forward to tomorrow. So, I'm very much looking forward to this entire week, and and honestly, not only for you know, us selfishly, but also for the rest of the viewers, settle in, baby. You know, like if you're thinking, oh, dang, I want more tonight. Oh, you're going to get more tomorrow and the next day and the next day. And you get a full day of pool and you get okay, a full relax, day of pool. Oprah, relax. We relax. got a lot of streaming ahead of us, guys. Some really solid matchups on the winner side. Daniel Masial versus Mario. He... Roland Garcia and John Mora, SVB, Alex Pagulayan, Carlo Beato, Danny Olson. I don't even know Danny was here. Evan Lunda against Josh Filler. Let's see here. Any other good ones? Yeah. Some really good matchups. So yeah. make sure, hit the like, hit the follow button on all these pages, you guys, especially on the Griff's YouTube page because that's where <laughs> the finals is going to be. Whatever. Pool Ace is hilarious. Uh. <laughs> but I don't want to stop watching. Yeah. You can check out yeah. the draw on digitalpool.com. Search U.S. Open right. 10 Ball. Was my music stopped? I yeah, think it I think stopped. So. Yeah, I got to turn it back on. Hello. This is why we keep the video under six hours so they don't pull it after the fact. I can edit it out if anything sneaks through. Nice little inside. It's, is no, it it's go? overcut by a mile. I mean, a mile? Psh, yeah. I'm not saying I could hit it better. That's not <laughs> what I'm saying. Yeah. But he overcut the ball. He's calling it. Nice How shot get, there. How does he get so much vert on that jump? Vert? Vertical, like, ah, you never watch the X Games? I can't with you today. I just can't. Time for a gummy worm. People in the chat saying they're not getting 
good quality coming through. If you're having struggle with the quality, you can adjust your video settings. We're going to watch uh, Mark shoot this three ball, and then I'll give you a little tutorial. Maybe not. We'll show you right now. Right down here at the bottom right corner of your screen, if you're watching on a computer or if you're on a phone, it's in the top right. Check this gear. Quality. Oops, not playback speed. We're going to go to quality and select your quality. Sure, I'll take a couple. <laughs> Made you a believer, huh? Well, I mean, if it's all I can get, you know, I'll take it. <laughs> You're talking about the trolley bright crawlers. <laughs> yeah. Look at this wired kick, Mike. We might have a shot here on our hands. That's why Mark was laughing there. Yeah, looking like it's no good. No bueno. I wouldn't call it a sellout, but it certainly is a makeable shot. Look at him brushing the cloth off. Doesn't want the ball to roll off. It looks like he's hitting it so thin, and he's trying not to let the cue ball go crazy. So he's going to trust the table on the speed of the three ball. You hoping think he's going to hold three... it? No, I don't think he's going to hold it, but I don't think he's going to blast at it. I think it's thin enough that you can't, like, look where the nine's sitting. You know what I mean? Right. You can't afford to blast at it. So the three ball is going to go in a little over pocket speed. Maybe not. Maybe not. He did kind of blast at it. Maybe he was just giving it like the, giving the table like the Buddha belly rub, you know, like just just follow this path. Maybe that like kinetic energy you were talking about. That no, that's not. Uh, that's not applicable on this subject. Okay. I'm learning. Apparently not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sarcasm. Yeah. Never heard of that on this stream. Who goes there? Yeah. Oh yeah. What a jerk. Nope. Really, really nice, man. What are you going to do when the guy's hitting the ball that well? What are you going to do when he always hits the ball that well? Like, always. It's just not fair, guys. But it's so fair. It's like life, you know? Where's this cue ball? hey -oh. Just when you give the guy the... Never mind, I was going to... I was going to come with a zinger, but I couldn't figure out how to... For, I was waiting I for couldn't the figure out how to finish it. <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to finish it. He's counting how many rails is going to come after he cuts it in. No, it's too fast. The 10 is so close to the short rail, or closer to the short rail than the spot, so it's really tough to hold the cue ball this thin. Yep. Yeah, of course. I think Jeremy pulled uh, like five games off of Better. Yeah? Yeah. Pretty good. It's pretty solid. Jeremy's got a good 10 ball break, too. I would assume that he must have just gotten outplayed after the break. I mean, better breaks better than but at the same time. So he's got a solid break. Understandably taking quite a long time on this one here. What about just juicing it up? Drawing the ball out two rails and banking the nine, baby. You're way out in the lead. It's a gambly shot. You know what I mean? But if you make it, you're on the hill. 
you're playing alternate break anyway. You're going to have another chance. Yeah, I don't really see Fran taking a whole lot of flyers like that personally. Well, what I about think... banking it the other way then? So that you can hit it thicker and hold the cue ball for the 10, but then if you miss it, it ends up on the short rail. What about that option? I like... The nine ball. Hmm. I want to see what he does. He's queuing high, it looks like. So he's playing safe then. Very much. He's looking at the first bank shot that I talked about. That's the wind up low cue ball right there that he's looking at. In the side? Yeah, just in the yeah, in the side, wind up. And then the bank the other way you'd go with a high cue if ball. If I'm hitting like, it like that, I want to bank it right by where his arm is now. You know? That's the safer route. But I, like I think like the that. pocket plays bigger and the cue ball is better if you bank it in the side. He's going with your shot, buddy. Yeah. Go time. It's a more makeable bank. This is a, a more makeable bank. But slick conditions, it might go long. Drills it. Where's right. the cue ball? Perfect. Nope. Dead Overrun. Perfect. Still good. Same situation, but doesn't have to worry about the cue ball. Play the same bank. <laughs> just play the same. You want to go tell him timeout? He, he just made one. Come on. He's it's looking at He's laughing at something. He knows. He knows it's the same shot. It's like the same exact shot. What a trip. That's funny. Pool is a funny game. Yeah, even the chat saying same shot. This time he cuts it in the corner. He doesn't have to worry about the cue ball. Guy's just a ball oh. pocketing machine. Uses the whole pocket, but he gets to the hill. Nonetheless, what a shot. What I am playing. Oh, I got it, guys. Sorry. I'm going to put you on another table for now. Boom. What'd Easy you, fix. What do you do? Then you got switcher got turned off. At least you had something to look at for a second. Boom, we're back. I kicked something. I, <laughs> should I say it? What? I pulled a predator, guys. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> it took no. a, it took a, the last could oh. be the last rack of the night, oh. and you went there. I was thinking it. You <laughs> went there. <laughs> I did not want to say it. I'm sorry. Oh man. I'm sorry, guys. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. If you watched okay. last week, you'd think okay. it's a funny joke. Wow. No, it's hilarious. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. Okay. I'm glad one of us did. I'm the one without the filter. I'm the one that'll probably it's get funny canceled because first. I'm, I'm the uh, <laughs> I'm the matchroom shill, and uh, you come with that line. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be. I love it. I'm all about content, man. So I'm for yeah, me. Well, I'm, there glad, you go. I'm I'm glad you said it. You know. Great, I'm never working with those guys. <laughs> anyway. It wasn't going to happen. No. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Don't worry about it. He's running into the two ball and scratching. And... GG's. Where's this two ball going to end up for the 10, the 210 combo? No, it's not. 210 combo doesn't go, but does the two go? The carom. The carom goes. Doesn't the carom go? He just saw it. We're going to find out here in a minute. Maybe the seven is occupying the space you need to sit in for the perfect carom. Tough to tell from the cameras. But he's going to come up with something. Maybe just stick him on the back of the ten. Send the two off the seven, or just whatever, just send it up table. Lindy, yeah, Jeremy Long was playing the ghost, but he lost. Can't look. Wow. Okay, let it go, man. We'll no, man, I'm not. I'm not. Listen, I, I like. 
I like uh, newsworthy things, so you might get quoted, buddy. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Oh, he's, he's going just into going it. after it. Wow, that ain't gonna work. Yowza. Hey, if there's a mod in the chat, we can get rid of Ash. He's obviously a troll. Uh, Chris Knowles. I'll, I'll just add you, Chris Knowles. Thank you. This bag of worms didn't last one day. It lasted about a day exactly. Calls the two ball. He's kicking behind it. Uh, he called it. Oh, he's going two rails this way instead of one rail. He's going two rails around the four instead of one rail behind the ten. Because the cue ball's... Oh, he's jumping. This is an interesting choice. Especially if you're intending to send the two near that corner. It sells out so often. That sells out a lot. Intensity. Well, I'll tell you what, Mark's about to be in action here the right, for the next few days. Yeah, definitely. Pretty, pretty heavily. The intensity that these guys all move around the table with, every one of them. It's something to be admired, to say the least. Yeah, but Fran is especially quick, which is interesting because I saw at least two occasions where his matches got put on time clocks out in Vegas. What does the 9 1 mean in the R? The what? The 9 1. What do you mean? In, in his FSR logo. Did you see that? It's when he, the year he was born. Dude. Oh, he's born in 91? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. FSR 91. Oh, cool. Yep. Matter of fact, I think that's his new his new Facebook page for his business out of Spain. So if you guys check cool. it out on Facebook, FSR 91. Nice. Yeah. What match is next? This is it for the night, guys. We're going to call it an early night tonight. Yep. Uh, tune in tomorrow, 10.30 a.m. We want to thank all of you guys for tuning in with us and hanging out with us. This has been a lot of fun. Big shout-out to all of our sponsors. Town, Q-Tech, Michelle Griffin, Realtor, 1PKT, Premier Billiards, who's actually um, doing our all-around. And who else? Who am I missing? Fast and Loose Designs. Fast and Loose Designs. Chris makes an incredible flyer. If you need any help uh, connecting with him, let me know. I'll be glad to put you in touch. Um, yeah, so... And, of course, Griff's, the whole staff out here. It's a packed room. There's oh, gonna yeah. There's going to be a ton going on this evening. We'll give you guys a pan of the room before we take off for the night. But, uh, yeah. yeah, it's uh, it's a hell of an event so far. Is he going to scratch go. here and not oh. end it? Oh, well, he got Just it. above got the it. side pocket. <laughs> not quite how we wanted to hit it, but. This is a missable ball. This racket. Oh, for sure it is. Yeah, it's not over. It's not over until that 10 ball falls. I think the morning is going to be one lost side. Then the round afterwards is going to be winner side. So make sure and stay tuned. It's going to be live and free online. Collins, man, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for uh, Dude. all your hard work today, buddy. 
It's Mr. Gonna, MVP. This is only the beginning, baby. Yeah. Only the beginning. We made it. Day one in the books. Day one in the books. There's our sponsors at the bottom. Make sure you check them out. And uh, big shout out to them for making this possible, especially our title sponsor, Q-Tech. Good stuff, man. Looks like the action might already be getting started, or is this possibly no, that's one actually, of the last? That's the last match on the tournament side. Okay. Um, we do got a couple of cues up that are available as well. I'm going to be posting them on social media in the next few days. So anyway, we've right been on. up late. We appreciate all you guys. We will see you all tomorrow. Collins, good job, buddy. Yeah. Thank you, and thank you, guys. See you in the morning. Peace. Force vectors. <laughs> Spin coefficients. That's what I like to see. <laughs>